All right, Kyle Shanahan. What did he do right in this freaking game? The first drive was nice. Other than that, everything was wrong. First of all, he should have started Trey Lance in this game. Well, what did he think was going to happen? He saw what the Seahawks did to Jimmy Garoppolo last year. They did the same thing to him this year. It was a repeat performance. That's why you traded for Trey Lance, because Jimmy can't make it through a game against the Seahawks anymore. But you were surprised. But that's not it. It gets way worse for Kyle Shanahan. So, so, so you went against a team that had no first downs for 25 minutes. Negative 11 net yards for 25 minutes. And you lost at home. Kyle, you've lost nine of your last 10 home games. How do you do that? That's got to be a record. That's got to be a record. But that's not it. Let's talk about specific mistakes that you made in this game. Kyle, how about that fourth and two that you went for with Trey Lance? So far through three games of the year, you used Trey Lance as a short yardage two-point conversion specialist. That's the only time you saw fit to bring Trey Lance in the game was when it was time to get one yard. And on fourth and two, you hand off to Debo? What the hell was that? A handoff to Debo on fourth and two? When you have Trey Lance, your designated short yardage specialist on the team. You called a two-point conversion for him right over there. He got it. But on fourth and two, you hand off to Debo? It was just like against the, the Green Bay Packers. Where I was it fourth and one at midfield? You don't call, you don't call a zone read for Trey Lance. That's the only reason he's on the team in your eyes. I don't get it. And this it gets worse. I'm not done with you, Kyle. You knew pregame that Robbie Gold couldn't play. He pulled his groin freaking pregame. And you attempted a field goal with a punter? You attempted a field goal with a punter. You also attempted multiple extra points with a freaking punter. What the hell was that? Again, you have a designated two-point conversion specialist on your team. You traded three first and a third for a two-point conversion specialist, Trey Lance. And you didn't use them. You would rather kick field goals with a freaking punter then let Trey Lance try to run for two yards at the goal line. Hey, explain that to me, Kyle. How freaking smart do you have to be to kick field goals with a punter? It's the most overrated coach I've ever covered. I mean... He's a lot like Chip Kelly. He's got the same arrogance. He's got the same cult following. He's got a way bigger cult following than Chip Kelly. Why do people like Kyle Shanahan so much? Is it his hat? Is it his shoes? And my, he has nice shoes. I like his shoes. But what is it? Is it his 31 and 37 record? It's going to be 31 and 38 next week. Is it his attention to detail? Is it his decision making? Is it the way he kicks field goals with his punter? I don't know, man. Definitely the most overrated coach I've ever covered, and I think fans are starting to see it. If he's good at something, it's not being a head coach. And frankly, he hasn't been good at anything this year. He's the weakness on this team. D'Amico Ryan's out coaching him. For the fifth straight year, his defensive coordinator's out coaching him. Kyle, you better make the playoffs this year, buddy. Because if you don't, they should fire you. I don't care who your quarterback is or who got hurt. You're five, dude. This is what you built. Make it work. Hold on. Grant for head coach. I'd be cheaper, too. All I would need is YouTube super chat comments. That's all you could pay me in super chats.